Trouble, oh, trouble. We didn't test Start here. finish oh, we line. Logano one. comes down oh. into Paul Menard. No. One car gets up on top of a group oh, and goes flipping over and over, and the 30 lands on its roof. That's Parker Kligerman. Cole Witt's teammate that oh. just wrecked in that first caution. And Brandon Davis's team, Swan Energy, hey, suddenly has two cars torn up. There's Dave Blaney with the single car 77 team. Look at a coil spring there that's come out of one of these race cars, a rear coil spring. As they come off turn number four, that's Menard to the inside and Kligerman the 30 to the outside. Oh. Actually, Matt Kenseth in the 20 looks like he kicked up into Joy Logano in the 22 that turned him sideways. Trevor Bain, the 21, looked to me, Larry, like he was going to bump draft. Got him going. A lot of different looks here. So Kenseth, the yellow car right in the middle in front of Logano, right here. Trying to get with his teammate, Kyle Busch, but mm. comes back up. That tips Logano into Trevor Bain. His nose catches Paul Menard, who plows into Kligerman, who gets up in the air on top of Menard's car. And who's that underneath? Black car. That's the 83 yes. car of Ryan Truex. And it was Ryan who got out of the car quickly in the black fire suit and was running to check on Kligerman. Three wide drafting here. Kenseth down a little bit, but Menard is there. And he just moves Logano enough that Joey loses control, gets into Menard. The white car of Kligerman, the black car of Truex, and the white car of Blaney all stacking up at the start finish line. And Trevor Bain in that 21 car may have gotten a little bit of damage, but Lord, it could have been a whole lot worse for him. A scary crash. Here's our camera on top of the safer barrier right at start finish. Safety fence is doing a great job. Oops. Did we lose our camera? Yes, we did. And Kenny, you've run this track so many times. That is one of the fastest place of this racetrack. And as Daryl has always pointed out, there's not a lot of banking there. And you're turning a pretty sharp turn. And you can see two places where part of the chain link fencing is torn away. And there was a splitter from one car that ended up right there in the fence. And so that area is going to have to be repaired. But look at the big cables between those huge stanchions that do the bulk of the work of keeping the cars where they belong down on the racetrack. And that's all above the three feet of safer barrier uh, that the cars were sliding along. Those are some one inch and some two inch cables. That area has all been reinforced after last year's nationwide race here, the cables to get to the racetrack. So here is what just happened to put us under the red flag Kligerman's car getting up in the air on top of Paul Menard, getting a shove from Ryan Truex. There's the splitter being ripped off and the front end getting against the chain link fence, but all that cabling doing its job to keep the cars where they belong. Yeah, the catch fence and the cabling, Mike, it's been a huge evolution. If you go back to the spring race at Talladega of 2009 with Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski, when Carl Edwards got up into the fence, at that point right there, a lot of racetracks made changes to the catch fence. And then obviously what happened here a year ago during the Nationwide Series race, more changes were made at this racetrack and with the catch fence and crossovers at a lot of tracks, but especially like Talladega.